Watch where you're going, man. Hey, what's your problem, Come on, man? Let's go. School bus to catch. Let's get out there. What's pending? Suspended. I mean, Bill can't go back. To Mara, Mara, come on, let's go outside. Well, I guess they're really showing us that they're kids after all, huh? Don't bother me. Still fighting with your boyfriend? They'll expect you to get your homework done, don't they? What? Well, I mean, your book report, for instance. You have to hand that in anyway, right? Well, why wouldn't I? What are you talking about? Well, I just thought that maybe I could help you with it. I thought you said I wouldn't learn if I didn't do things on my own, make my own mistakes. <laughs> That's true, I did, but I thought that if you have a rough draft of your book report, you could bring it to me and we could talk about it, and it might be fun. I mean, after all, it's not going to be too much longer before I really won't be able to help you with anything. Listen, don't worry about it. Honey, don't do this. Don't punish me this way, please doesn't help anything. It makes you feel terrible. It makes me feel wretched. <sighs> I really hate the way things are between us right now. I don't know what you're talking about. Nothing's changed. Things are the way they've been for a while. But I guess you've just been too busy to notice, huh? I mean, I know why you're guilty about not helping me. I don't feel guilty. The book I... reports on the Scarlet Letter. It's by Nathaniel Hawthorne. It's about a woman who has to stand in front of the whole town because she had sex yeah. with a man who wasn't her I know what the husband. book is about, and it's not the same. As what? As anything in my life. Why? Because they don't make you wear letters now. Bill, there's a better way to handle this. Hey, no, I don't mean that. What, because you had to wait two minutes for your toast this morning? We're you, not talking about toast. You, you think I'm doing a lousy job? Matt, would you just tell him that I'm doing fine here, that I'm handling it all okay? Would you tell him, please? Please? I don't know if I can do that. You. <laughs> Should've known I could count on you to back me up no matter what. Look, I'm just trying to help. Have you ever known me to agree with Uncle Ed? What does that have to do with this? He's right, Bridget. In this case, he is right. Thank you! Thank you! I'm doing a lousy job running company in the boarding house. Thank you! No, you're just under a lot of pressure. Well, you know, you are more insulting than he is. Bridget, look. Look at yourself. You go to bed way too late. You get up too early. Well, so does everybody who has a job, Matt. Oh, sorry. Excuse and me. And you take care of Peter full-time when <laughs> Vanessa does it. And Come lately, here. that's been... Come here. Always. Well, I'm sorry. I don't have time to hear this. I don't want to hear this. Bridget. Dr. Guthrie, I am so sorry. Yeah. I'll be back. All right. Mister, 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 I just want to tell you we're in a big rush. Are you okay? Are you all right? Bridge, I think what Uncle Ed is trying to say. I know say. what Uncle Ed's trying to say. I'm not an idiot. That we're family and you're not alone in this. Is it, that right, Uncle Ed? If you are having okay. trouble okay. with something. I'm not having any trouble. Okay. If you need anything, call me yes. anytime. All right? Can you know what was it? <laughs> And what we're gonna do? Look, Bridget, if something needs to be done around here, just let me know. I'll well, do it. Well, you know it. what, you, Matt? I was handling things fine before you came to town, okay? You don't need to be running around fixing everything for me. You know what? I'm trying with you. I'm really trying hard, but you so damn conceited that you can't see that other people around here maybe have problems, too. You're not the only one. Oh, who might be having a problem? You? Oh, I get it. That's why you're offering to fix things for me, just to get out of Vanessa's doghouse. Is that it? What? Be right back. I'll be right back. I got to Maggie. She takes everything you say as a personal attack. I just think that she needs some time to go. Where did Eve go? She just walked out, Dr. Bauer. Well, I guess that breakfast is a wash. I'm gonna go play a little racquetball. Really? Need a partner? Yeah, come on. Okay, babe. Okay, baby. We're okay. I, uh... I asked Vanessa to give us a little bit of time alone so we could talk. I mean, you're gonna talk and I'm gonna listen. <laughs> I think you know me a little bit better than that, Bill. Go ahead. No, you go on. I want to hear what you have to say. What's wrong? How can you not know what's wrong? I mean, I heard you arguing with Mom over the same thing. 
You don't like it either. Yeah, but Bill, the difference is I didn't punch somebody in the face. My dad never backed down from a fight. Oh, your dad? Your dad. All right, I think I know what's going on here. Your grandfather taught your dad and me never to back down, and you're thinking that, that he passed that on to you, is that it? Right, that's why when this kid mouthed off, I hit him. Yeah, but Bill, you can't do that. You have to find other ways to do things, better ways. I know that's that's difficult, but but if you don't... It... You end up like that. That's what you're saying. He took the idea of not backing off too far. He ended up in jail. I know where he is, Uncle John. Well, he's there for a reason, Bill. It's not... It's not like I love him any less. I mean, in some ways, I love him more. Oh, but yeah, sure. I do. Bill, you got to understand that that when your dad and I were growing up, I thought of him as a god. I mean, I, he could do no wrong in my eyes. And through this situation and, and some other things, I've realized that he's, he's a human being. He makes mistakes like I do and like you do. Bill, we have to find better ways to do things. That's the bottom line. I know it's difficult. I love you, man, I do. I'll tell you something else, your mother loves you. She needs you right now. I know. Oh, I can't really feel my legs. My lungs are burning, my heart's pounding. It's a good thing you're a doctor. No, you played very well out there. Yeah, you ran me ragged. I feel like I covered 20 miles. Well, see, that's the thing about this game. You know, the better you get at it, the less ground you cover. You beat the hell out of the ball. It's just a matter of working on the finesse, you know? Yeah. I kept picturing little faces on that ball when I slammed it. It's great therapy. Oh, you've been under the gun, or something. Yeah. Tell me about it. Nah, come on. You'll come out, all right? Thanks. And thanks for not mentioning anything about it. I don't mention anything about it because I've been there myself. Yeah, I guess you have. I just don't know what, what people expect from me. I don't... I don't know how to act. I don't, I don't know what to do. Do you love Vanessa? Yeah, of course I do. I'm just having a tough time dealing with this 13-year-old son of hers. Not to mention the problems from her raising a, a little baby with my sister and an ex-brother-in-law who has nothing better to do than sit around and get ticked off at me. Where's Bill? He's upstairs in his room. Oh. Well? How'd the summit meeting go? <laughs> Went pretty well, I think, actually. <laughs> really? Well, um, when we first started to talk, I really didn't, uh, didn't know what was going on with him exactly, but uh, as we got into it, it became more clear that he's, uh, he's dealing with the same kind of problem that, uh, that we Lewis men have been dealing with for a long time. I've, I've had to deal with it myself, as a matter of fact. What's that? It has to do with the way we look at things and what we do about them. There's something inside of us that keeps us from going to other people for help. We, we think the best way to solve a problem is alone and quietly. And, um, and sometimes I think it's just something that's ingrained in, in us. But it's also something that, that we have to change eventually. Well, did he listen? Uh, I mean, did he... Did he respond? It... He didn't exactly turn cartwheels, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I think he heard me, yes. Well, that's great. That's wonderful. I just can't get through to him at all. Anyway, thanks a lot. Does this mean that maybe you've... Maybe you're changing your mind about my situation? With Matt? Yeah. No. Why? <laughs> because I don't understand. 
Vanessa, I just don't think you're being realistic about your chances with him. Vanessa said she wanted me to be a part of her life. At least that's the way I understood it. And when I try to express my opinion about how her son is mouthing off to her, she, she slams me. I've never been committed in a relationship for any real length of time. I mean, every time something came up, things got complicated, I just bailed out. I ran. I'm very afraid that this kid is going to let you down, Vanessa. That he won't be around for the long haul. <sighs> well, gosh, thanks. It's exactly the kind of support I need. See ya.